Now I've got this. What's happening? Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. And today we're gonna to give you a rough uh, bust down buyers guide to get started. So there's a big persona about buying bust downs and losing money and people are confused about what's VS, what's not, what's SI, what does it all mean? So today we're gonna to sort of break it down for you in the best possible way of doing so. And uh, yeah, so I think we can give someone the prime example today on something like this. Obviously it's a, it's a brand new 2020 model. It is a uh, Datejust uh, 116300. Yeah, so Datejust 41. Datejust 41. It is, it was just, I mean, it is a stainless steel uh, Oyster model and we have diamond set. So. so the reason I've picked this one specifically is because it's, I mean, startup costs around 15,000 and that gets you into a diamond watch. I'd say it's probably the best budget bust down you could probably get in a watch. Yeah. Value for money. And the reason being, it's top set only. It's not side set. So by having not the sides done, it's got the side cased on the head, but having not the sides done the bracelet, both sides. How much difference would you say? You, you save yourself a good four or five thousand. Mm. Yeah. So and it's good because it takes it away because you know, you, you, you can, you're still wearing it. How many times are you really going to see the side of the watch? Yeah. And when you're cha-ching for the gram, you're still, you're still looking good. So I mean, even though it's not sides, it's not a massive deal. So I think getting it at that 15 grand, rather than 19, 20 grand, you know, I think you, you, you by saving yourself four grand, I think it's good. How many stones would you say are set in that piece? Um, in a piece like this, you're probably looking at about 2,500 stones, and that's sort of every single stone is hand picked, every single hole is hand drilled, and it's sort of a big process. So hand set stones, hand drilled. Um, uh, holes and obviously hand set stones. And for the people at home watching this now, carat weight, how much carat weight are we saying approximately? Uh, 18, 20 carat. And so like the actual diamond weight that's been set into the watch. Yeah. So you can imagine a typical engagement ring is like one carat. It's got 20 carats of diamonds in it. That's a lot. Nice. So good value for money. Yeah. So that's one way of looking at things where, for example, let's move on to something else. I know it's my value watches, let's talk about setting and let's talk about sort of the AP offshore. Tell me about this bezel. Originally, when you diamond setting watches, you diamond set as they are. You would never um, you would never sort of modify the steel or the gold, you would literally just drill and set the stones. So a lot of what people are doing today, um, especially on bezels and watches, they are building up the steel with gold or same steel. So what I mean by that is that they're actually thickening it um, to raise it, to make it bigger. You know, it's gone to the days where you just go and buy a diamond set watch. These days people do bigger, they're bolder, they're setting on it, they're building on the watch to make it bulkier and make, it's all about making statement pieces and- The craftsmanship's gone to another level. Yeah. So what about people say, why do the majority of watches get set on stainless steel? So why do we choose, or why do we recommend that stones go on stainless steel watches? Well, it's the cheapest option. Entry point watches, so entry level. Entry level Rolex, for example, is like five, six K. It's a stainless steel watch. Entry level Patek, yeah. well, retail for 20 K, but they sell on the gray market for what? Say 50 K now. So Richard Mill, titanium case, this watch now is like what? 140,000 now in the gray market. Yeah. So it's, it's, we can only we, can, we don't get the watches any cheaper than what they see them for on the web. Yeah, it's just that we're the people to bring the di watches to, and your diamond set. Yeah, you know that's that's fine, but yeah, you are limiting your market on the watch by diamond setting it. That's that's yeah for sure. When it comes to a piece like this, you've also got to take consideration of how it got there today. So this watch will be stripped. It will be disassembled. It will then be given to a watchmaker. Sorry, then we give them to a setter. The setter will then have it in part, so it then be in what six, seven pieces. It will then be in six, seven pieces. You have the bezel, you have the case, you have the bracelet, you have the clasp, you have the um, dial, and then he'll start working. He's then got a two-week journey in front of him, where he's hand drilling every single hole, 
neck aches, headaches. <laughs> you got to understand. It's a, it's a if, oh, I wouldn't be a sitter. I've got the patience. Oh, I, I haven't got patience to be a diamond sitter. You definitely have got patience. No, but no way. No way. You're telling me you want me oh, to sit yeah. out Jump and drill, five holes. <laughs> there you go. You want me to sit out and drill? I'm done. There you go, I'm done. Nah. So, thank, thank you for the, the good diamond yeah. sitters out there. Yeah. You know, you're much appreciated. But you do to my guys out there, you, my diamond sitters. You, you, you do get a very strong price, in my opinion. But yeah. anyway, we'll talk about it another time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you've got yeah, there's a guy, he's sitting there, he's drilling. On average, on a full set watch, he's drilling two and a half thousand holes. So, he's drilling them all, he's got the holes, he's got to clean up his work. And then he'll then hand select all the stones themselves, two and a half thousand stones. He'll make sure all them stones are the correct size to fit in them holes he's drilled. He'll then go and hand set two and a half thousand stones. Um, and then obviously, once they're set, there's a, there's a reassembling stage, the polishing stage, and then obviously it's fit and retail ready. So if, you're, if you're watching this today and you're thinking you're ready for the next step in, in a diamond watch or um, customizing your watch, yourself it might have sentimental value and you want to just diamond set it because you want to sell that watch and buy a new one come see us send us a message on instagram give us a call i'm always here willing to help um it'll be a pleasure and uh yeah jug what are you wearing tonight richard mill done i'm wearing the day forward done good night peace out